Oh, snap. Dude, 200,000. Bang your nation strong, man. That is unreal, guys. Thank you so, so much for all of the love and support of the channel over the past few years. Ah, dude, I got goosebumps right now. Like, this is insane. 200,000 people. That's more people than even live in my metropolitan area. Blows my mind. Anyways, uh, I don't even have anything planned to say. Just wanted to capture the moment sitting here at home, just kind of getting the, the studio. I'm getting ready to uh, get this place built up, and it's gonna be it's gonna be bomb diggity. But just wanted to issue a massive, massive thank you uh, to you guys who support the channel, that watch the videos, uh, that leave positive comments. Really, really appreciate that. Can't wait to continue making videos for you guys moving forwards and Clash of Clans and also other games uh super super pumped for what's to come so anyways 200 and no oh, 200,001 yeah 200,001 people currently in banger nation you guys saw it click over live uh i guess that means i've got some money to give away for whoever guessed the closest date and time it is currently 10:02 p.m on June 30th. 10.02 p.m. June 30th is when we hit the milestone. I've gotta go through Plex Chat right now. We had uh, hundreds and hundreds of people enter what they thought would be the uh, the winning date and time for when I hit 200,000 subscribers and that person who is closest will be getting $200. All right guys, so I've gone to Plex Chat as have 535 of you guys as well to enter into the 200,000 subscriber giveaway contest being held in my personal Plex. Guys, if you haven't downloaded the app yet, definitely check it out. Um, it's something that is, you know, it's a work in progress, but we are doing some cool things there inside of the mobile gaming community. Uh, so definitely check out the link in the description if you have not yet done so. For those of you that have, first off, thank you. Second off, we have 11 people that guessed the correct day that I would hit 200,000 subscribers, and we now know that that is June 30th, and the correct time was 10.02 p.m. Let's go ahead and go through the times right now, starting with the furthest away on June 30th, and we will work our way to the winner of the $200 giveaway. So Jay Faulkner, 23, with a guess of 12.01 a.m., just after midnight, 22 hours, one minute away from that magic number. Good try, but there were plenty more that were closer. R. Krieger, guess 2 a.m., 20 hours, two minutes away. Not bad, getting closer, guys. Refreshing. Guessed June 30th at 10 a.m. Only if he had done p.m. I think that would have done the trick. 12 hours, two minutes away on that guess. That leads us to Mary Kay. Mary Kay got 10.30 a.m. 11 hours, 32 minutes away from that grand prize. Javgar guessed 1 p.m. And that puts him at nine hours, two minutes away. So guys, we're getting closer. LJ Hugs guessed six hours and 27 minutes away at 3.35 p.m. We had Genghis 23 and Key AP 83, both of them guessing six hours, two minutes away, both guessed 4 p.m. on June 30th. So guys, uh, that leaves us with the top three. So good job to everybody so far for guessing super, super close. I don't even know how you guys picked this day out of a hat or looked at stats or whatever you did. Really, really cool stuff that you guys all guessed the right day that I hit 200,000 subs for a contest I posted a month ago. So very nice job, props to you guys. So Ion 1020 guessed 8 p.m. on June 30th. That's two hours and two minutes away from the actual date and time when it happened, but we had two people even closer than that. First off, Pazoban. Oh, so close, dude. So close. Runner up in the competition, Pazoban. June 30th, 9 p.m. was his guess. That puts him one hour, two minutes out uh, from the actual magic number, and that leaves for the grand prize. That's my lame, lame drum roll, but, uh, uh, I wasn't really planning on doing that. But anyways, Sean. Sean has won $200 courtesy of Flex Chat as well as the Power Band Gaming channel. Thank you so much for being a supporter of the channel. Thank you to all you guys for being a supporter of the channel. What was the magic time? He guessed June 30th at 10.50 p.m. And that puts him 48 minutes away from the actual date and time that it went down. So, wow. Wow, wow, wow. 48 minutes away on a contest that I launched a month ago. Mad props, dude. 
Welcome uh, again to the Banger Nation. If I haven't personally told you before, Sean, appreciate the support. Thank you to all of you guys that have taken the time uh, to watch the channel over the last couple of years that I've been posting videos. Really appreciate all the, the time you guys take out of your day to come spend it with me. Uh, definitely don't take that for granted, and I'm very much looking forward to the future and what we're going to do moving down the road on the channel. So guys, that is going to do it for the giveaway. Let's get into some awesome Clash of Clans action today. Let's transition to the normal overlay with the normal video. Again, congratulations to Sean of PlexJet for winning the $200 giveaway. Stay tuned to your DMs, man. I will hit you up with details on how you can claim that prize. What's up guys? Welcome to the actual video today. We are talking a little bit about the new update and whether or not Supercell pulled a fast one on us again, similar to what they did with the Witch in the previous update, where the mechanics were changed, no mention of it in the patch notes, no mention of it in the update announcement or anywhere to be found in the forums, but rumor has it, like what I've been hearing from people that are playing the game is that the balloon mechanics have been altered to where they're not as fast as they were before. Uh, clans have reported their attack uh, success rate, their three-star rate, has dropped tremendously with balloon attack. So I want to see if there's something to that in this episode today, and we're going to be analyzing a few raids. I'm going to do one live right now uh, with balloons. It's been a bit since I've done a raid. I've been moving like you guys know, so I haven't even been logging in uh, to play right now, but I'm very curious to see if there's actually some truth to this. Now, given the history that they've kind of shown uh, making small tweaks to mechanics of troops without mentioning it, I, I feel like there's some legitimacy to this claim, uh, but at the same time, people say some crazy stuff when it comes to Clash of Clans. So, balloons, after this most recent update, they changed target so fast that if a building that they were targeting was taken out, they would actually switch directions without pausing or stopping. I mean really no hesitation at all uh, in the, you know, the loon pathing, and that's something that uh, it was a little, little strong, you know, if you ask me. So let's go ahead and take a look at this base and figure out what we're going to do uh, to take it out here. So what I'm thinking is let's just go ahead and wall break in really quickly, and we will drop in some wizards here and the queen. So we're going to go in and try to take out the enemy queen as well as an air defense here. I mean, that's that's the goal anyways. Um, so I don't know if that's actually going to happen. It looks like we have a giant. Oh boy, giants from the CC. We're locked onto the enemy queen. She is down. So things going well so far, guys. I don't know if this is going to turn out <coughs> or not, but we, <laughs> of course, I cough. I cough right when I need to uh, use the queen ability and we miss it. So here is, here's what I want to know. This is where it, it all comes down to it for me. Um, we want to know about the balloons. So let's go ahead and send in uh, some balloons here in the corners. And we will go like so. And here we go. So we are sending in a whole bunch of balloons here. And let's get them through this base. So there's definitely more pausing going on. Uh, more so than there was before. Why is my warden hanging back here right now? Why is my warden hanging back here right now? Why is my warden hanging back here right now? So freaking lame. Uh, I guess we'll uh, have him sit back there and shoot the giants. So let's watch the balloons though. That's, that's the key, guys. Um, I, I'm not seeing... Okay, so here's a perfect... They're definitely slower, guys. They're not, like, cruising around to the next building like they were. Uh, it's not even close to the same as it was before. I'm definitely noticing the pause, like, after the... Dude, am I going to get my Warden ability off after all? Who knows? Um, let's just do some stuff over here, I guess. I don't freaking know. Um, I really wish I wouldn't have coughed, man. That kind of sucks. Oh well, what are you going to do? But yeah, the uh, the balloons definitely are slower, at least from what I'm seeing. We're going to take a look at some successful raids as well. Um, <coughs> excuse me, i got a tickle in my throat, man. This is no good. 
So, Minion's still kind of finishing up the other side here. My Warden was not helpful. He was not the MVP. The funny thing was, is I dropped him right on, like, my initial pack of balloons. And the balloons just left him. They're like, peace out. So, the Warden is not something that I've had uh, great luck with. Uh, as of late. Almost got this base taken care of. I think if I would have gotten my ability off and made for cleaner loon pathing at the start of this raid, probably would have been a better uh, better result for me. And then also having that queen, um, you know, clear out the pathing. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. So, not super happy with the raid there, but as far as what I wanted to know, the balloons definitely, to me, appear slower. Because you that, that stutter, that hesitation, that's what you know, before they were like smooth and, and you know, they could go in a different direction without having, you know, stopping at all. So 3200 DE, not too bad. Let's go ahead and check out some stuff in the chat. We got Fighter Legend here testing out some new Queen Walk stuff. I'm actually testing um, Queen Charge Queen Walks at Town Hall 11 right now, having some of the guys look at that who have maxed out their healers. We got level 5 healers uh, here from Fighter Legend, so he's bringing the, uh, the Queen Charge here. Brings the giant tanking for that Queen. And again, notice how the healers uh, against the higher level point defense, I guess these are at level point defenses, they're basically Town Hall 10 defenses, uh, aren't even really touching the Queen. I mean, it's pretty... Uh, pretty benign with those healers on there for sure. So the king doing work, going around the outside. That's going to get the queen to go in. Rage spell used to kind of hurry her up to get her to the uh, air defense here. That's that's kind of the goal, but unfortunately, just getting roasted at the moment. Uh, so the warden ability is used, and I don't know if it's going to save a healer. It's not. So another healer down. King uses his ability. Now we've got Drag Loon coming out of the CC. Uh, we are getting ready to queue in, though, on the 18 balloons uh, that are coming out of the army comp here. So, Queen starting to walk around. She's going to get the second air defense taken care of. Perfect. Nice work. Fighter Legend continuing on the walk. And, I mean, this is, uh, this is encouraging, though, for those people that really like those skillful... Uh, you know, attacks with, like, queen charges because they seem to be kind of back, you know, if you ask me. Definitely, you can see those stutters and those hitches right there in the in the balloon pathing. As the, uh, as the buildings kind of go down, they're stopping. So, yeah, they definitely tweaked the balloon mechanics once again, uh, really without mentioning anything. I think that's a big enough change where I don't see why that's something they should keep a secret. Um, I didn't see it post anywhere. Maybe they did. Maybe they snuck it into the fine print somewhere. Um, I didn't see it, though, and it was kind of interesting to see this called out by the community uh, in their raids, and they're just like, yeah, I, I, I can't seem to attack as well with balloons. Now, it's not stopping Fighter Legend here. He, he absolutely smashes his base. Um, you know, and, and I mean, granted, it's a, it's a farming base, but still, I mean, the, the point is... Uh, the balloons are definitely not quite as smooth as they were before, and you'll have to plan for that in your raid. You can't just spam everything. Well, I mean, I guess you could. You, you could spam everything in, uh, but you may not have quite the same results as as you did before, as, as kind of displayed previously uh, with my raid where I failed. So let's go ahead and scroll up in the chat just a minute. Uh, we got my man Wise Man back in business. Massive shout out to you, bro. Glad you're doing good. Uh, you have no idea how much I'm uh, happy to see you back playing. So, anyways, we got that baby dragon on the funnel on top. We got the heroes going in. We got a suicide entry here. We got 30 balloons. And again, I'm just keying on these balloons, kind of watching their speed and their target changing. Um, again, I feel like I've got a pretty, I mean, just from watching two raids, I feel like I've got a pretty good idea of, the yeah, they definitely changed things back because it's just not quite the same as it was um, you know, a, a few days ago even before this update. So the queen gets a great push. King does some really good funneling here as far as the, the defense buildings. Uh, uses the ability. Going to get a sweeper out of this mix as well. I mean, so this is really, really good job breaking the ring here and making really like ultra clean pathing around this base. So you're going to see uh, the Lalo come in probably from the top. There we go. So top left, here it comes going around the ring. And he just kind of horseshoes it around the base. And this is kind of where you're going to be able to see those uh, targets change um, as we kind of get to the core here. So, yeah, I mean, you can literally see them hitching. I don't know if you guys see that. They kind of, like, stop and then go, like, as as buildings are, are going down. 
Like, you can see the back group, like, literally stopping there. So, absolutely, it's definitely been changed. Um, as far as my reaction to this, like, it'd be cool if they were upfront about it. But at the same time, like, I think it's a good thing, guys. The, the, uh, the change that they made where they were just sweeping through the pace was just absurd, in my opinion. Uh, hit rates were way, way up. Man, is he going to get this? How close is this? Holy cow. He, he's going to overwhelm this with, with minions, isn't he? Wow, okay, okay. Let's see how close this actually gets, man. Because he's got he's to overwhelm these point defenses for sure. And he sends them all in on the bottom so they group up down there. Man, oh man, Warden tanking. MVP Warden for Wise Man. That is incredible. See, Power Bank didn't get the MVP Warden in his raid. So look at how close this is. Down to the final two minions, he's able to get the raid taken care of. Yo, yo's home. <sighs> getting crushed, bro. Wise man getting it done. But guys, I think we can definitively answer the question. Have loons been changed back? Yes, they have. Um, it's quite clear to me watching this. Hopefully you guys uh, are in agreement. Let me know what you think about the loon change um, in the comments below. And also, guys, thank you so much once again for your support of the channel. 200,000 strong in Banger Nation now. Really appreciate all the love and support you guys show me. Um, so let's let's keep it up. Here's to another year of uh, awesome gaming content on the channel. I'm going to kick it out of here for now, though, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Um, again, let me know what you think of the balloons. Uh, are you happy they changed them back? Are you sad? Did you like them how they were before? Would you like to see something entirely new uh, to begin with? That's all I got, though, guys. Take care. This is Power Bang. I'm signing out. Until next time. Peace out. Take care. Oh, 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 oh,